Yo guys, you already know what's up. We got a new drone right here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at it. Inside this box is the Diatone Roma F5V2, which is a five inch freestyle drone made by Diatone. We're gonna be unboxing this, talking about our first impressions and taking it out for some test flights. Let's not waste any time and dive right into it. All right, so this is the first Diatone product that I've ever purchased. So let's see how their unboxing experience is. There it is. We'll just go through everything really quick. It looks like we've got our frame assembly diagram, a little preview of that. Looks like it came with one set of propellers. There's none on it. These are the Ethics S5, bare Vista cable. A uh, bag of all of our accessories. Looks like battery straps, antenna, zip ties, battery pads, extra screws, a lot of extra screws, prop nuts, and some extra cables in there. We'll take a look at that. A USB-C cable, a bag of receiver stuff, if we need to put our own receiver on. So this is a plug and play version. So this will be coming handy if we ever wanna put a new receiver in here. GoPro mounts as well. Looks like a naked GoPro mount and a regular GoPro mount. And then some extra accessories, uh, landing skids, uh, stack protector. So here's our drone, uh, nicely packaged in here, pretty firm foam, pop it out. Uh, I like the stickers on here. That's a great addition for beginners. So here it is. Um, I've got one of the side panelings off so we can kind of take a look inside. Here's the Diatone Roma F5 V2 HD with a Cadex Vista and a Polar Pro, Polar Pro camera. We're gonna take this out and fly it now. Seems pretty balanced here in the middle, which is nice. I do have an older version of the Diatone Roma that was a custom build. Um, it's not the HD frame but they're pretty similar. I'm trying to see if I can notice any differences. I think, oh, the arms are thicker. Take a look at the arm thickness. The arms on the V2, on the orange one, are a little bit thicker. Um, so it should be a little more durable when crashing. The, the metal up front, ooh, nice and glossy. This one is not. I think it's some sort of titanium. This one has two tiny screws up front per side, and this one has one large screw per side up front. So um, I do like that better. It's also on the bottom. These two made it kind of difficult to squeeze in. Uh, other than that, I mean, it looks pretty similar. Stack looks very nice in here and the Vista fits very well. So yeah, let's see how it flies. Do a quick, uh, quick line of sight flight with it. See if we can hand launch it. So here we go. Arm it up, give it some throttle and let go. There it goes. Front flip, roll, big punch up, roll, power loop maybe, there it is, oh come back, <laughs> got it. Let's get some FPV flights going, I'll do one without the GoPro to get a feel and then we'll throw the GoPro on and see how it is. All right, this flight we're gonna do FPV. A little concerning right here, this back prop is coming real close to hitting the um, XT60 pigtail. I don't know how to fix that. That's how they ship it. Everything is very close. Look how close this front prop gets to hitting that metal right there. Everything is very tight. So the other thing is this battery strap. Maybe I just need two, but it's not very uh, tight and the pad's not very sticky, so should start recording when I arm, so I'm gonna arm. We got 15 satellites, and it'll show our speed, so I'll try and talk about our speed. And go. Okay, so far it feels really light. Really light and nimble. Going about 40, 59 kilometers per hour, 71, 60. I can see part of the plastic orange plastic bumper on the right of my front camera. Okay, it's very nimble, um, punching out of things. Quite high pitched. We're cruising by 67 kilometers per hour, 73. I'll do a flyby of the car. Going 60. Do another flyby, going 72 now. The 
pretty quick. Bring it by and just hover in front of us. Not the steepest camera angle, but that's okay. Backflip, roll. Let's bring it in and get a GoPro on it. Alright guys, I know it's dark, but we just finished flying this thing around. I flew a couple packs. Uh, it flies great. I don't have any major issues with it. Um, I would definitely buy this and fly this on my own. I would probably choose the 6S version. I do like to fly with a full-size GoPro, which is pretty heavy for some of these quads. They can handle it just fine, but you aren't going to get the best flight time. It might be because some of my batteries have been used quite a bit. I would have thought that the tune on this would be a little bit more aggressive compared to the Nazgul Evoke or Nazgul 5. So you can obviously do that yourself. You can go in and change the rates and the PIDs. Um, but I would have thought that Diatone might have done that from the factory. Not a big deal. If you're still a beginner or you just want another quad and you want something a little bit different, this thing is awesome. I mean, this thing is gonna take a beating. The arms are so beefy. The front titanium plate, I mean, you're not gonna break that. You're not gonna dent your camera. You could break a lot of this plastic on the arms. I see that stuff breaking pretty easily. Um, I, I mean, I broke it on my, um, I broke it on my custom build by hitting a bush and then the ground. So it's gonna break, the plastic's gonna break, not a big deal, you can replace it with whatever. Other than that, um, it's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure, this uh, GoPro mount is quite interesting. It's uh, an injection molded or it's a plastic material. Most of the time they're TPU, 3D printed materials. So this is my first time kind of experiencing that. So we'll see what the footage looks like. I'm sure it's fine, but I wonder how that's gonna hold up in any crashes as well. I don't think I really have much else to say. So it flies awesome, it looks awesome. The price is pretty awesome. It's hard to beat. Um, if you're in the market for a new five inch drone, the Diatone Roma is definitely the one for you. So I think that's all I got for you guys, but thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Check out some of the other videos on my channel, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Go ahead and get yourself a Diatone Roma if you're interested. Ask any questions in the comments below and that's all I've got for you guys. Peace out.